Alright. So, I, I'm wondering why the police officers didn't want to speak about it. They just drove off. The family didn't really want to speak about it, too, and I got actually a little bit um, a tinge of self-consciousness about maybe that I shouldn't have been filming their situation, but but then I'm not I'm not really sure why they would have someone in handcuffs because it, it, we're not sure actually what was going on, but it seemed like they were just checking their license and registration and things. So why would they have him in handcuffs for that? It's intimidation. It's, uh, you're, you have a legitimate concern that they uh, handcuffed an, an innocent person for no reason at all on a routine stop. Right. Well, we don't know that's what happened, but that's what seems to have been going on, that it was just a routine stop and they were checking license registration. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if anything else is going on. But yeah, my question was, is why, if they were just checking license registration or for being maybe parked at somewhere they weren't supposed to be parked or something, which is all I could infer from the situation, why they would have someone in handcuffs. Especially when there's uh, a mom and two children in the car. Why right. would they see he's totally innocent? Yeah. And then the fact that you asked if they could speak with you they hightailed it out they packed up shop and left yeah the, the, Immediately of, after the, offers, the, the officers did not care to elaborate on what was going on in the situation it's not and, a service to the people yeah but i felt a little bad because the family didn't also didn't want to elaborate on anything I believe so that, you know they hightailed it out because of the camera right they had no you believe who you'd, hightailed it out because the of the camera? Oh. Yeah, you, you'd think that they would try to intimidate you for live streaming or you stream by doing some, putting them on the spotlight. But they packed up shop. Yeah. Well, that's to me, it's just a, it doesn't make sense right. at all. Exactly what you're saying. Exactly what happened doesn't make sense. You know, Interesting. It's not a service to the people. It, that was uh, it was interesting to be a witness to that situation um, and not knowing more details I'm not really I'm not really gonna state my opinion on it except for right. it draws many questions into my mind I'm to so. say something. okay and uh, uh, that my son came from Minnesota and he was walking in our hometown my mom ran for city council there and he's 31 years old I've never been, hasn't ever been in Southern California except for when he was a year and a half. Comes over and he's pulled over while walking in Carson uh, four or five times in one year. It might be more than that. I'm just being conservative. Yeah. And that's, and that's in Minnesota. No. He's from Minnesota. Oh, he's from he's a Minnesota. Minnesota boy. Grew up uh, over there. But that's out here. Had his cap. Maybe he had his cap turned on backwards. But that's. You know, uh, but the, he, those. He is twin cities. He's from there. Those incidents happened where though? In Carson. In Carson, Southern which is California, in Southern California. In Carson. Interesting. All right. Well. And we're we're a respected family in Carson. Yeah. So, um, we're gonna go now. Battery is getting low. And uh, thanks for viewing.